Hey everybody, welcome to Famous Graves. We're rolling up on Riverside National Cemetery. This is located across from March Air Force Base, Riverside, California. This one's going to start out a little differently as I'm here for burial. The guard shack says follow the blue line to get into the funeral procession. This would be the first time I've ever done this. Okay, here we go. It turns out that we're a little bit short today, so I'm going to serve as a pallbearer for my neighbor. The white van is driving us to the gravesite location. Uh, don't worry, this video won't be about the burial. This is just the beginning of this video. Now the service is over. This is a newer part of the cemetery or memorial park. Uh, later they'll bring in sod or plant grass. Probably sod. Uh, thanks for bearing with me as I pay my respects to my neighbor. Uh, she was in her 90s, I think 93. This is a grave location of my neighbor Helen Fisher. She was my neighbor across the street for 28 years. Really good. Kept an eye on things. They move pretty quickly here. She's already in tiered. I'll get on with the Famous Graves video soon. In fact, I think I'll just call it a day and come back tomorrow and do some Famous Grave hunting. Thanks for bearing with me on this part of the video. Day two, I went down the road and got a hotel. Rested really well. It's a, it a really nice room. We're back at Riverside National Cemetery. I did forget to mention yesterday that Hel Helen was also a subscriber, so I'm sure she's at peace with being shared in this video. One large cemetery. We're getting some wind today. Our first stop in this video, and I'll zoom down a little, John Agar, not only is an actor, but he's a military man. He's best known for appearing in John Way films. One was Sands of Iwo Jima. Another is she wore a yellow ribbon. John was the first husband of Shirley Temple. The little golden-haired tot who warmed the hearts of millions of film fans has grown up. Shirley Temple at 17 wed Sergeant George Agar in Hollywood, while 4,000 admirers try to crash the gate. The honeymoon will be short, as the sergeant is due for an overseas air assignment. He was asked to escort her to a Hollywood party. He said, you don't have to twist my arm, sign me up. They have one daughter together. Her name is Linda Sue Agar. She's born in 1948. He dies April 7th, 2002 of complications of emphysema. Well, I gotta tell you, it's cold and windy. I know you Midwest fa folks won't think so, but to uh, people living in California and in the middle of the desert, in my case, Las Vegas, Nevada, this, this is cold weather. Our next video, our next famous grave stop, would be straight out this direction. Walking right up on a grave location of not only an actor, but a producer, a behind the scenes person in Hollywood, Rufus Ward, better known as Skip Ward. He's a staff sergeant in the United States Air Force, serving in both Korea and Vietnam. Dies June of 2003 while living in the uh, old folks motion picture retirement home. Ward is a producer of the Dukes of Hazzard and O'Hara starring Pat Morita. If you're ever strolling around a cemetery slash memorial park if you see red flags like this sometimes they're yellow and orange, I've seen orange. This means that the spouse has recently passed. They're getting prepared for the burial. 
this is one windy day please stay with me throughout until the end of this video we're at the grave location of Donald Bevan he's best known as a playwright and screenwriter he writes the book Stall Log 17 which became a successful Broadway production and later a smash motion picture he was a gunner in the United States Army during World War II he was captured and was taken as POW until the war ended. I may have mispronounced his last name. It might be Bevan. Bevan or Bevan? Bevan, 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 Bevan. Say that fast. I think it's Don Bevan. Our next stop is a 70s sitcom star, Nathaniel Taylor Jr. He's a Lance Corporal in the United States Marine Corps, better known as Rollo of Sanford and Son. Sanford and Son was probably my favorite 70s television series. Uh, by the way, on my channel, look for a video with uh, Red Fox. I take you from his house in Las Vegas over to his store, his junk store, just down the road from his house. And then further up the road is his grave location. So I guess this would be a commercial to check out that video. Okay, let's keep moving. We'll make our way across the road. There's a couple of stops we'll make in the center section as we deal with the wind. George Clayton Johnson, Private First Class, United States Army, a World War II veteran. He was a writer. He co-wrote the novel Logan's Run, which turned into a 1976 film. He also wrote several scripts for The Twilight Zone. A couple I remember is Nothing in the Dark and Kick the Can, if you know those episodes. He was an advocate to legalize marijuana also was a lifelong vegetarian. He dies of prostate cancer Christmas Day 2015. Now we'll make our way across. Actually this almost looks like uh, golf course grass. There are just no weeds. This place is really taken care of. Riverside National Cemetery this is straight across the street from March Air Force Base. There are several Medal of Honor recipients uh, throughout this cemetery. Uh, thank you folks for your support. I'm enjoying seeing the channel growth. I got to tell you, it's much easier to drive several hours to do videos when I can see the results. I appreciate you folks contacting me. I've gotten phone calls, emails private messages through Facebook. My name is Dave Ledbetter. You can send me a friend request. My email is directinsurance at cox.net. It'd be good to hear from you. We're getting close to our next location, I believe. Let's see. Right around here somewhere. Here we go. Abel Fernandez. Let me get this sleep out of the way. Uh, Abel was an actor from 1953 through 2002. He's best known for playing a federal agent, Bill Youngfellow, in the TV series The Untouchables. What are we going to do? Just stand here and watch? Elliot says we've got to. Moran thinks we're backing Haller and we'll lose Moran. Eating played right into Moran's hands. Yeah. Let's get out of here. Nice going. Nice going. You got what he wanted out of them. He sure did. They're a big, rough bunch of guys. Oh, yeah, they can use their muscle. They can even use their guts. The only trouble is they don't know how to use their brains. He dies at the age of 85 of lung cancer.
You know, I don't believe I've ever seen snow on these mountains here in Southern California. Our next stop is the resting place of Thomas Bond, better known as Tommy Bond. He plays a part of Butch in the Our Gang series as a bully. Ah, it's Butch! You're darn right, it's Butch. <laughs> Forget the pal business and get this thing off my nose. Yes, sir. Oh! Now what do you got to say before I take you apart? Butch, he didn't know it was loaded. It was accident, Butch, honestly. Ah, uh, well, all right. But you know what'll happen if there are any more accidents, don't ya? Ow! Oh! Oh! Suppose that was an accident. It wasn't. I mean, it quiet. Well, you asked for it. <sighs> Later in life, he is cast as the original Jimmy Olsen in the Superman television series. He dies from heart disease at age 79 on September 24th. 2005. I'm going to wrap up this windy day. This is part one here at Riverside National Cemetery, Riverside, California. Part two would be out next week. I love visiting graves of famous people. Maybe they have been forgotten. I like to bring them back to life in a, in a sense by telling their stories. Everybody needs to be remembered. See you later.